You know how much air goes in and out when you breathe? No. Most people don't. Now take a deep breath. What's going on inside of you when you take a deep breath, do you know? Well, my lungs are inflating. Yeah, and then when you let the air out? They're deflating. Well, that's sort of true, but there's a lot more to it than that. In fact, here, I have a, a model of your lungs right here. See, it's a lamp chimney with a one hole stopper in the top there and a Y made of glass and two balloons. Down below is another balloon that represents what? My diaphragm? Your diaphragm, that's right. Okay, so grab a hold of your diaphragm and make it go up and down slowly. Okay, that, now it's down. Now what happens to your lungs? Well, they're inflating. Yes, now what? Move the diaphragm up. Oh, they're deflating yes. now. Yes, now diaphragm up and down. There's breathing. Michael breathing. <laughs> All right. Now notice that you said your lungs inf uh, inflated and then deflated, and that's true, but it's really the diaphragm that's making it do it, and outside air pressure is pushing it and making your lungs fill up. You make See? more room inside there on the, when you inhale like that, and then the diaphragm pushes up and forces all the air out again. So that's how your lungs work. Okay, good. Now, I want you to take the deepest breath you can and then exhale as much air as you can. Okay. Okay, now how much air did you take in and how much air could you possibly blow out? Come on over here. Here are nine one-pint jars. What was the maximum amount of air that you could exhale? Well, about one, two, three, four, five. Five pints, okay? Well, now we're gonna actually see how much you can exhale. Over here, see I have a great big tube filled with water. You see those black marks along there? Yeah. Each one of those black marks represents a pint. So you said how much? One, two, three, four, five. That's how much I have to blow? Well, you don't have to blow that much there. You just, that was your guess. Think you can do it now that you see how many, how much space five pints is? Well, well, why don't you try it? Let's see. Around on the other side over there, at the bottom of this tube, there's a hole. See, and there's a rubber stopper in it? Yeah. Take the rubber stopper out. But won't the water come rushing out? Right. <sighs> Didn't come out. Okay, why not? Well, there's no air in there, so the water can't come out. Right. And the only air that's going to get in there is the air that you blow. Yeah. Now here's how you're going to do it. See this tube? Stick it in the hole. Okay. So all the way to the other side of the tube. Okay, that's great. Now on the other end of the tube is this plastic one. And you are going to blow. Practice once, the deepest breath you can, and then as much out as you can. Okay. All right, go. Okay, come around here and take a look. How'd you do? I only got three. And three. A half. three. I want to put this little piece of tape here. I'll mark that. That's the top of where you were that time. Three. That's pretty good. Oh. Think you want to try it again? Think you can do better than three and a quarter? Try it once more. Okay, you ready? Sure. Take a nice practice now. I find myself in <laughs> two. Go ahead. Here we okay. go. Okay, come on around and take a look at it. Oh, I did a little just, better. Yeah, just a little better. Yeah, we were from the top up here down to there. You did a little better. Yes. So that was a pretty good guess uh, because, after all, you didn't really have any, any experience at uh, how much air you breathe in and out all the time anyway, did you? No. Well, let me see if I can sort of summarize it all for you. Now, the figures I'm going to give you are for an adult, but the proportions would probably stay the same for a uh, boy your size. So you'll just have to cut part of it off, okay? Okay. First of all, when you breathe in and out, that's how much air goes in and out. One pint? One pint. Normal breathing. I then see. when you take the deepest breath that you possibly can... Three pints? Three pints, right. 
Then if you just let it all out, obviously you're letting out four pints, right? Mm -hmm. But if you take the deepest breath you possibly can and then exhale everything that you possibly can like you just did, normally an adult... Three pints. Uh, uh, three pints. So there is sort of the, the maximum amount of air that you can put in and out of your lungs because these two pints over there are in your lungs even when you breathe out as much as you possibly can. I see. So all those little tiny, have you ever seen what the inside of a lungs looks like? No. Full of all tiny little air passages. And inside those air passages is at least two pints of air. Now, do you know uh, how you can improve your ability to breathe and uh, exchange air, the oxygen, into your lungs and so forth? No. Deep breathing exercises. Very mm. good for you. Practice now. Here we go.